Hey, what's up everybody? It's Alpaca Kidder Productions here doing a uh, Football Manager 2022 video on my career as Tottenham Hotspur Manager. Now, if you know Tottenham have a little bit of a stick, uh, they haven't won a trophy since 2008 and one of my objectives was to change the fact that that was going to happen. Now, in terms of my history, just quickly as a uh, football manager on this game, I just want to show you. Um, my job history was that I was Sunderland manager um, in 2021-2022. That was due to the Sunderland Till I Die documentary. And it was all until 2024-2025 um, that I actually got them up to the Premier League and was actually approached by Tottenham. So that's when my career actually started. Now, just to show you the actual history of the league, um, unfortunately, Tottenham weren't doing very well. Um, so in the first season, uh, they were 12th with, uh, that was, of course, the current season that's just been completed. Uh, that was Brentford, Crystal Palace and Norwich that went down. For some reason, football manager doesn't like Crystal Palace being Patrick Vieira being the manager. Um, and then after that, it just sort of um, picked up for Tottenham. They qualified for the uh, European Cup and then finished six, which was all good. That was in the 2022-2023 season. And then it kind of went downhill. They had loads of different managers and they finished 15th in the 2023-2024 season. Um, ironically, Newcastle went down with all their money. So, um, yeah, if you don't like Newcastle, then, of course, give this video a thumbs up and take the mick out of uh, Newcastle at the uh, bottom. Um, and then from there, 2024-2025 um, was when I actually took over the reins as manager. And we finished fifth in the league, which was a nice uh, sort of nice season. I thought that was quite good. And then um, then last season, uh, we finished second above, uh, sort of above uh, the likes of Man United, Norwich, Chelsea, Man City, Brentford out of all people, uh, seventh. So let me know how you think they're going to do in the coming seasons. Newcastle, of course, went back up and then came straight crashing back down again. So uh, for some reason, I love taking the mick out of Newcastle. Apologies about that. And then this current season, um, I've played for one four. But let's see how we actually got to that position. Because my current squad, it's not like the most exciting squad. But I've got a lot of youngsters, a lot of what are called wonder kids. Um, but this is my sort of current squad with a few injuries. But really, the only sort of people that you're going to uh, maybe sort of remember or know um, is, of course, good old uh, Harry Kane. Now, Harry Kane, um, if you want to know how he's been doing, um, his season stats are pretty good, um, as he always is. But in terms of his history... Since uh, sort of football manager season started, uh, 23, uh, 26, sorry, excuse me, I will read numbers correctly. <laughs> 36 games, 13 goals, 36 games, 10 goals, 33 games, 13 goals, and then 35, 20, 35, 20. So it's been kind of like a consistent goal scorer as he always has been. Um, other than that, then in terms of if we go to sort of like the uh, finances, Financially stable. Um, the only thing where I'm doing not so well in my management is the wage budget. Uh, at the moment, I'm about sort of 300, 400,000 pound over budget, which is not good. Um, but I would tell you some of my sort of key players, ones that have been doing well. Um, this kid's come out of the Youth Academy, um, Alfie Devine. And he's been doing all right. Um, his stats, he plays well. Um, he's developing good. So I'm quite happy with him. But this was the, the, the purchase of like the century on Football Manager. So I don't know if he is in your game at the time. Um, but this was picked up by my scout saying that he'll be a pretty good player. And I paid for him 6.75 million. Okay, so, uh, so, you know, minimal money. And have a look at this. First touch, 18. Passing, 16. Technique, 17. Pretty good in the physical department as well. And this kid is just going to be an absolute wonder. Um, still potentially going to be improving. Um, so really, really happy with that. And then um, I'm not able to uh, say this uh, guy's name uh, correctly. But um, from Brossier Dortmund, um, I got him. Now, he's my biggest transfer to date, which is 72 million. Now, sometimes people say you'd overpay for that. I think I have overpaid for that. If you th let me know in the comments down below, do you think I overpaid for him? But um, yeah, uh, 21 years old and pretty still good, meant to uh, improve. 
but he's had a couple of good seasons. But he is um, a striker. And, of course, I have a soft spot still for Harry Kane, which means that he's been playing more on the uh, right wing. Uh, but nine goals, uh, sorry, nine appearances, eight goals, which isn't great because he is a regular, uh, like, you know, for 72 million. So I'm going to try to give him more games this season. So, and currently uh, played for, scored one, assisted one. Now, my career um, sort of highlights because as we said Tottenham haven't won a um, <laughs> Tottenham haven't won a trophy since 2008 and my objective was to change that as being the football manager of this club and last season was a great success so we were um, in the European Cup we had wins like 9-0 which was absolutely crazy we then got into the Kabara Cup um, sort of semi-finals and we had we had a pretty easy run, um, if I don't mind myself saying. Um, we had uh, Walsall, and then we had Leeds, which was difficult. Well, we actually uh, won on penalties on there. And then we got to the quarterfinals, where we had to win on penalties again against West Ham. And then we had Fulham in the uh, sort of uh, semi-final. And then the final was the North London derby, where Harry Kane came up on the 63rd minute. Uh, to win and us to beat them 1-0. Um, the FA Cup, uh, we had Birmingham and then we had Man City, which we beat 3-2. Um, as you know with Harry Kane, always coming up with the goals, always coming up with the goals against Man City. Um, so, yeah, there you go. And then the FA Cup fifth round, we beat Luton 4-2. And then quarterfinals was Wolves. We had to go through on penalties. As you can see, we're a team that like winning on penalties, which is always good. Um, and then semi-final, Man United... Uh, or everyone hates Man United. Now, that was an interesting one because it went to extra time and then Paul Pogba popped up with a 99-minute goal. But Paul uh, Friedel, uh, 113th minute, he came from Man City. He's a good wonder kid. And then Chelsea, we actually beat 3-1, which was, you know, pretty good. And then the season of, uh, just to get the treble, um, as I said, uh, Euro Cup Group B, nothing really worrying there. And then... We got to the second round where we had Borussia Dortmund. We actually lost 1-0 away from home. And then it was an absolutely mental, mental game uh, against Borussia Dortmund in the uh, home leg where we won 4-2. Uh, Callum Hudson-Odoi, I love this player at the moment. He's popping up and scoring loads of goals. Harry Kane and Paul Friedel again. So, yeah, he's been doing us very, very proud. Um, after that, uh, semi-final, uh, sorry, semi-final, quarter-final, uh, we got Villarreal. Um, unfortunately, they're not as strong as they are in real life at the moment, and so a uh, 3-1 win at home. Uh, we're a really strong team at home. Away, we managed to scrape the one-all draw to get us through. And then the semi-final, um, Atletico Bibao, I'm going to say that wrong, excuse me for that. Uh, but again, another 4-2 win at home. And then we lost 3-4 um, away from home, which was absolutely crazy because um, a little bit of a worry. Um, they scored in the 90th plus uh, 3 and then uh, actually the 90th plus 4 but because of Ryan Kent... 90th plus two, we went through. And then the final was an absolute mental one. Um, yeah, sort of uh, against Paris Saint-Germain. And uh, we were winning 3-0. And then they popped up in the 90th plus second minute to score 3-1. And that was the European Cup final. So really, really successful. Um, and again, if you want any tips or tricks or what you think I should be doing on a football manager 2022 video, then please leave me some comments down below. I know it's not my normal content, so let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, we can uh, we can make more content on this. So thank you very much for watching and you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much. Bye bye.